In this video, we will take a look at the event tick and the multi trace by channel. So we are trace by channel and see if we can uh, work a little bit on that. And um, I'm going to choose a method uh, based on a separate actor. And we could try and see if we could work this out inside the third person character but I um, I have experimented a little bit with this and decided to um, give up and just go with a different approach um, and that was all, will also allow us to do some stuff like the, the grenade that I showed in the VIP2 video um, in a pretty easy way so anyway let's uh, get to it so I'm going to create a new actor and we're going to call this the collision, no, the foliage sphere. And the idea is that we um, want to have um, a, a separate collision actor instead of the, the tr uh, trace. So we're going to make a little sphere here. Let's call this the collision. Sphere. and for now let's just make this 300 big and <clears throat> unclick hidden in game so we can see it and we're also going to set this to lock all um, first and then set this to custom and ignore pawn and ignore visibility or actually uh, yeah, let's just ignore visibility. So uh, that means that if uh, we're not going to collide with our collision capsule. Okay. Um, let's see. So we need something to drive this the position of uh, the foliage sphere around. And the way we're going to do this is to have our character drive this around. Or if it's a grenade, and it's going to be the grenade. So we're going to make something called my owner. And this is going to be an actor. And uh, we're going to constantly update the position of this. Um, so let's say um, set uh, actor location to be equal to the owner's location. And we might have some situations where the owner is not set yet or for some reason. So I'm just going to make uh, this valid first. So plug the one in here. And if that's valid, then we will set the location here. Um, yeah, so we just need to, uh, when this spawns, we need to set my owner. And uh, since it's going to be the character uh, in this case uh, that will be owning this collision sphere, uh, we're going to begin play. And here we're going to spawn one of these. So spawn actor from class. And going to set the foliage sphere. And it requires a spawn transform, so get actor transform. And we always want to spawn, and I think that's it. Um, so let's see, if we play, we can see we now have a, a collision sphere. Um, but it's not updating right now for some reason. Um, and that is because we didn't set ourselves to owner. So drag this out and call set my owner. And well the the owner is gonna be our self. So just type self and drag that one in and then that one. That means that uh, when we now move around we have a nice uh, sphere to detect collision with. And that's gonna eventually replace our trace. Um, so this little one is going to re be replaced by that uh, trace. 
Oh, uh, collision sphere. But uh, before we do that, we should uh, take a look at how we can uh, collide with um, our um, foliage. Um, if we go in here, um, well, let me just get rid of the default scene route because um, if you take a look at the uh, default scene route, it has a set of collision as well, and it, uh, well, it, it's not that much. But the logic behind the blueprints, I think, uh, is causing. Uh, the behavior um, of the root component to be responsible for which uh, events you will see. So we want to be putting the collision sphere as the root. So drag that one up. That's actually quite important. Um, so on the event hit component event hit, let's first of all drag out here and say print and say. Um, Hit. So we want to know if we are hitting something, and as you see, nothing is. Uh, even though we are overlapping with something, uh, we're not getting any prints out here. So we can. Um, the thing, if we I switch this to sweep, and you can see now we're starting to get a lot of uh, hits. Actually, we can't move anywhere because um, we are constantly uh, colliding with something. And I believe the settings we selected for this collision sphere was um, to also collide with well static, so it's going to collide with the ground. And I think right now we also have our foliage set to well static, so we want them to collide with the, the foliage, but not with the well static or uh, whatever uh, our level is going to be constantly normally. Um, so we are kind of in a, in a in a little problem here. We have a little problem with that. Um, let's see, because that didn't really work, turn out to do the trick. Maybe, uh, let's see. Can we move? No, we cannot move. That's actually pretty interesting. Why can we not? physics body okay let's turn all this st stuff down here now we can so what the heck um sorry I can't get my my capsule to follow me. I'm just gonna turn the radius down to 200. See if I can illustrate the point here. So as you can see now, I can jump, and it's gonna eventually stick. And um, so this is not gonna work. I'm gonna turn off sweep so we can see something interesting. So if I jump now, you'll see we are not getting any collision events. Uh, and according to the documentation, as far as I could tell, it's because uh, when we want to get a component hit event, it can happen either by um, um, somebody is moving uh, from the char character con movement uh, component, or if you're doing a set active location or position in some way using sweep, or if you are simulating physics. So. We are simulating physics, and we don't have a character movement control uh, component, so uh, we are left off with sweep in this case. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's um, what we're gonna be doing in this video here. Um, so, I think um, before I go too much deeper into this, I will. Um, yeah, actually, uh, what I want to do is cut this video short, and in the next video, we're gonna spend uh, an entire session just uh, configuring the collision settings because they are kind of a mess right now. We they are all over the place, and we don't have any control of uh, what is what. So um, yeah, that's something we will look into in the next video. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next.
Bye-bye.